A special beauty of water transport lies in its diversity. Bullet-fast boats, majestic cruise ships, and hidden submarines. Like many other modes of transport, waterborne vehicles receive a powerful impetus for development at the beginning of the 21st century. As a result, truly amazing projects were born, fully consistent with our vision of the future. This is the Innovative Text Channel, and today's episode is about 7 unique ships you absolutely must see. Let's get started. Cigarette Tirana 59 AMG Edition What makes a sports boat unique? For example, the only instance in the world created in collaboration with two well-known sports brands, Cigarette Racing and Mercedes AMG. Plus, six monstrous 4.6-liter V8 Mercury Racing 450R engines, delivering a total of 2,700 horsepower. And all of that is combined in the vessel with the loud name Cigarette Tirana 59 AMG Edition which is a cross between a racing boat and a luxury yacht. This vehicle is 59 feet long and has got a galley, a bedroom with a double bed, a bathroom, and several seating areas on board. Special attention should be paid to the 29 speakers acoustic system, with a total power of 5.2 kilowatts. The hull of the charged Tirana is made of carbon fiber, which significantly reduced the weight of the vessel. The maximum speed is 70 knots, which equals 80 miles per hour. Mazu 82 Yacht Turkish shipbuilders believe that a unique yacht should feature a combination of modern materials, luxury minimalism in terms of style and ultimate safety. And it's hard to disagree with them looking at the motor yacht Mazu 82. The hull of the vessel is completely made of carbon fiber, which has achieved outstanding strength characteristics and tangible weight reduction. The highlight of this yacht is the bulletproof glass, tempered and reinforced with a special film. The windshield is 0.87 inch thick. The roof of the ship also has an interesting feature in the form of a huge hatch that folds down if necessary to enjoy the open sky overhead. The power unit of the Mazu 82 features three Volvo Penta IPS diesel engines, capable of delivering 3,000 horsepower. The manufacturer tried to find a balance between the luxury of a luxury yachts and good maneuverability inherent in mid-size boats. The cruising speed of the 79-foot vessel is an impressive 40 knots. Apex Watercraft Tier From luxury yachts, we're instantly transported to innovative designs like the Apex Watercraft Tier sit-down kayak. This type of water vehicle is a traditional fishing boat of the peoples of the Arctic. However, in our time, the kayak has gained more recognition as an excellent vessel for sports tourism. Rafting on rough rivers attracts attention of hundreds of thousands of extreme sports fans. The creators of Apex Watercraft Tier aim to bring kayaks back to their origins, giving them new possibilities. To this end, engineers have developed a lightweight body that has a simplified drainage system and a smooth bottom. The kayak is made of polymer foam lined with carbon. Thanks to this design, it has increased stability and easily moves in shallow water. In addition, the tier has a swivel chair which significantly increases its comfort and boosts possibilities in terms of fishing. Platypus Swordfish Now it's time to look into the depths of the sea and see a project called Platypus Swordfish. This is a cabin cruiser capable of traveling over or underwater. In this case, the main part of the boat remains on the surface, and a capsule with people located in the center of the vessel descends downward. Underwater descent is provided by hydraulic levers. The first model of this boat was released in 2019. The central capsule was open, which is why the dive had to be carried out in diving equipment. The Swordfish doesn't have such issues, since it has got a sealed compartment for passengers. Air will be supplied from the surface, and the body itself has got a sandwich structure with a wooden core. Interestingly, the updated Platypus is fully electric. A top speed of 40 knots and a cruising range of 115 nautical miles on a single charge should be enough for a fun ride. Swamp Shark Imagine an all-terrain boat that literally gnaws its way through marshland and algae-laden water. This is what a water vehicle called Swamp Shark does. The main feature of this model is its power unit and a unique design of the propeller. Existing boats used in shallow water and swampy areas need a constant supply of clean water for stable movement. 
However, Swamp Shark grinds everything like a true predator. The propeller design and protective cover truly resemble a shark's fin and are highly reliable. The manufacturer created this vessel first of all, focusing on law enforcement and the military. However, civilians can also buy this all-terrain boat too. Swamp Shark offers two engines to choose from, 270 and 365 horsepower respectively. However, you should not count on any options to improve comfort. Boeing 929 Jet Foil Not only modern projects can amaze with their capabilities and characteristics. For example, back in 1974, well-known Boeing launched a famous type of civilian ship called a jet foil. These ships travel on fully submerged hydrofoils and are propelled by water cannons. Over the entire history of this project, more than 20 ships have been built. It should be understood that jet foil are not simple cabin cruisers. Those are large seaworthy ships. Their capacity varies between 167 and 400 passengers depending on the modification. The design developed by Boeing was so successful that these vessels are still used as high-speed sea ferries in Japan, France, Great Britain, and other countries. Interestingly, the civilian project jet foil took as the basis the technologies used on the Tucumcari and Pegasus warships with hydrofoils. Fathom Hypersub For last, we kept a truly amazing project by the American company Marion Hypersub. This development is called Fathom and features a high-speed submersible boat. On water, the vessel practically hovers above the surface, while its draft is below 24 inches. However, as soon as the hatch closes and the boat picks up ballast, it turns into a submarine. The Fathom's design allows staying afloat even when upside down and the split ballast system provides positive buoyancy at a 12-ton load. The boat's cruising range is 1,000 miles without refueling. Maximum surface speed is 45 knots. After submersion, this figure equals to 3.7 knots. The boat was mainly developed as a military project for intelligence and special operations. The maximum diving depth is 1,197 feet. Which of the presented projects did you like the most and why? Share your opinion in the comments below the video and like it if you enjoyed today's episode. It was the Innovative Techs. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you soon.